Everyone has a psychic ability. It's not a power. And basically, it's sort of like when kids daydream and when you dream. It's like a slideshow in a daydream and a dream and a virtual reality. And a lot of times it comes up where there's no um, order. So it's like sp it's bits of pieces, like a um, slideshow. And for me, I see images, hear things, feel things, and sometimes dead people talk to me. Now, all psychics are not mediums, but all mediums are psychics. So when it comes to talking to people that have passed over, we don't have the ability to just phone up and say, hi, can you introduce me to this person? So what I'd like to do is if anyone have, has any questions, you can give me your name and your date of birth and somebody will go with a microphone so that you guys can ask me questions. So I would like to open it up with that. Does anyone have any questions? You guys? Um, they have a microphone behind you. I just need your name and your date of birth. And a very direct question, and just so you guys know, you know, because there's kids in the audience, like no one can tell you how long you live or die or anything like that. So I, I have a lot of people that have passed on. Okay. And I see hearts in a lot of different places. And I'm not the only one. Drew Barrymore actually has a book about all the hearts she sees. <laughs> okay. But um, so do you think that is... I mean, I, I don't know why I'm asking. I know the answer. It is signs. It's, it's their way of saying hello to you and letting you know that they're there. Yeah. What is your name, by the way? I, I'm sorry. My name is Betsy. Betsy, what's your date of birth? 11-1. What one. year? Oh, gosh. Really? Oh, come on. <laughs> 56. Okay. So you're intuitive yourself, and you get a lot of weird dreams and deja vus yourself. Absolutely. Um, you also just did a big change. Um, I don't know if you moved, or there was a big change in your life just recently. Yes. And... I think for a while you're kind of done with some of the endings. So, because I think you had like a big, a big mess of people passing, but it, they're still here, so they're around you. Um, there is two people to the right of you, a male, female, they're together. Okay. Um, my hair is standing up on my arms. Um, the one had some problems breathing, um, but she's okay. That's what they're telling me. Very gentle energy, feels like a female spirit. But I, I feel My like somebody... died from emphysema. Okay, it, well, whoever it is feels very gentle, very soft-spoken. Um, you're prone to back issues, and you have a problem with your leg, you need to fix that. Oh. You may be some do Pilates or water therapy. Okay. Um, you also might be moving. I don't know, that just popped into my head. So I get more movement. Okay. Now, anyone else from your crew? Somebody's got to have a question. Come on. So... Ask me a question. So, um, I, I don't really have a question. I just wonder if you have any, if you pick up on anything. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Are you in your third major relationship yet? Yet? <laughs> well, well, you know, it feels like a third energy or a person that's represented themselves. They, it's like they're there. It's like gum. They won't go away. <laughs> well, that's why I see my husband. He's, but I've been with him Good. for 30 years. Well, that could be why I'm getting the number three, so... See, I get a lot of symbolism. Right. And you were pregnant three times? Um, or yeah. Okay. And one of them just um, made a big change for themselves, but they'll be around again. They're coming back and forth, so I don't get it as a negative. And uh, you have to watch. You have to drink more water. You're prone to some lower body stuff, and you're prone to cysts. So, oh, very good. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, very cool. Um, now, your friend is sitting there with her mouth open, the Bobsy twin over there. Hi, come on up. Come on, everyone. Somebody else come up to you in a few minutes. Hi, what's your name? My name is Kelly. Hi, Kelly. What's your date of birth? January 15th, 1971. Okay, you're a little spunky. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. I would hate to be punched by you, but all right. What, what can I answer for you, sweetie? I don't know. I just... you. You saw my mouth open, and so here I am. Um, you would have, you have a lot of threes around you also. You work well by yourself, but you also can work with you and two other people. Um, there was a health scare, somebody close to you, but it seems to have worked itself out. So I think that you don't have to worry about that. And if it doesn't make sense yet, whatever might be coming up, it won't be a big deal. That's really important. And you have to learn how to tell people, I'd love to, but I can't. You don't know how to tell people no. You're very spunky for everyone else, 
but not necessarily for yourself. You know, and I have one other question for you. Did, are you just, um, are you trying to change your career or focus with your business? I'm not in business or career. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have a daughter and a husband who supports us. I, I don't know. I'm getting something. So there's a change. So it may be something to do with him. And you were only pregnant once or three times? Um, I've been pregnant twice. Then one more pregnancy. I get another energy oh, coming. Please. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, then be careful. <laughs> I'm careful. <laughs> I'm really good with pregnancy, so just okay. be very careful, because you have yeah. something around October, there's a hit for that, because I see pickles. So normally pickles and ice cream, you know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and what month is your husband born in? He's March. What day? Uh, 9th and 76. So he does two things for work, or two areas of focus? Um, he works broadcast engineer. I get him juggling, so... Yeah, there's something he'd rather be doing, I think. You know, maybe writing? Like, something like that. I see writing, and I see colors. He likes to help people. You know, and he's very funny. He's very laid back, but you're definitely the fire, and he's just very gentle. Yeah. yeah. And is there a John? Um, a JG? My, my, um, my father and my grandfather are both I, I hear it. There, there's some acknowledgement, so I hear it very strong. And one of them had something with their leg, like they're tilted, so I'm getting a reference to that, so just keep it in mind. Okay. Something, it could be the flow, it, it, you know, it doesn't have to be literal. Yeah. Um, now, do you have any other questions? You gotta ask me something. Uh, well, I, I am having some struggles that pertain to my husband and his activities. So, um, he's a little erratic. He, he's a two, so he, he needs to focus on two things. And you're a one or a three, and you can balance better. He doesn't necessarily prioritize correctly. So, and he gets overwhelmed. So he has to breathe more. Um, and he also is really nice, which could be a problem because people kind of take advantage. So he has to learn to tell people, you know, listen, I can't do this. You know, but I think you'll get through it. Um, I also do think within the next five or ten years, you're going to move out of the area. So that will be a big thing for you, and it'll be a, a very nice, calm lifestyle. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, any, the gentleman over there wants to ask me a question. January 20th. What year? 1960. What do you want to ask me? Um, are the people that have left me really all around? That, you know, I believe that they are, but the, the thing, I, I, one of the things that I always tell people is if they're quiet here, they're not going to go on the other side and scream. And if they're loud here, they're not going to be quiet. So for you in particular, you have sensory issues. You need to wear soft things. You're funny with smells and heavy bass. So like if you get like a random smell or something comes up that is sort of out of sync, it's their way of saying hello. Um, you get really weird dreams, and sometimes, like, some people give you headaches, so pay attention, because they drain you, and you're also very intuitive, but you're more analytical with it. You do, like, a deductive reasoning. And one other thing, you were in your first major relationship, or your third? Second. Uh, is it the third person that really got to you, though? Yes. If, if that's, if you're happy, then that should be it. And... Also, I don't know what this is, but I get something with somebody with their teeth. There's an issue. So just keep it in mind. I mean, it could be something to do with their mouth or the way that their bite is, but it comes up. And um, also, you're also in for a big change, too. I think you had some things go on, and you had also... One person more sig significant to you is no longer here recently. It was kind of sudden, but they're around. I hear like um, music of like cha-cha-cha in the background. I don't know why, but I hear cha-cha-cha. So I get like a beat. So if you're listening to jazz and a weird song comes on, it's probably their way of saying hello. Thank you so much. you have any thank other you. questions? Okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Ma'am, what's your, what's your name? Marianne. Hi, Marianne. What's your date of birth? And what's your question? Um, I've written a book uh, about my cat. Is it going to be published? 
I, I think it already was, wasn't it? Did you have self? Did you have it self-published? No. Okay, so what, I know this is going to sound weird, but I get three. So does it have three parts to it? No, but I've written three books. So then you need to submit all three in order for any of them to get published. I know that sounds weird, but you got to do it all in one shot. So see if you can maybe self-publish, and then somebody could pick it up. Okay. Now, this is your third area of focus or third career choice? Because um, you did two other things before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, do you live by the water? No. I am getting water around you. Do you have a pool in the back? No. Okay. I am getting water, so there is uh, some sort of change, unless it's something to do with the road you're living on, like Rockwood Lake or something. But I am going to say I see water. That's, that's a positive. Um, you are prone to stomach issues, and um, you have to watch that. You know, that's your hot spot. Now, do you have any other questions? No, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, and just keep doing it. Also, talk into a recorder. It will help you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Anyone else? Young lady with a hat, and the gentleman with a hat. Believe it or not, I do have a lot of males as clients, so. That's all right. Mostly for business. What's your name, sir? Ed, like a horse. No, sorry. What's your date of birth? <laughs> 321. You're saying, though, that they're missing something um, and they're getting to the root cause of it. You should make sure that you don't have any allergies because some of the, I get some swelling and, and um, inflammation inside of you. So it could be gluten or milk issues. So you need to check that. Okay. Um, did you have any vascular issues at some point? Yeah. Yeah, because I hear like boom, boom. Boom. So there's some issue with the flow, but I think it's workable, you know, okay. and, and I think that you just have to try to find a way to get a little bit active. I know it's, you have a hard time breathing sometimes, but you have to try to find a way and maybe go swimming or something like that, aqua therapy. Right. Now, do you have any other questions? No, that's it. You also, um, you know, it's unfortunate that what happened, but I also think you're looking at living each day as it, you know, as it was your last, which is very nice. Yeah. Um, do you have any family, though, from the South, or, or from Florida, or somebody that's over there? Um, yeah. I see you seeing them soon, because I get a reference to, like, you either going there or them coming here. So that's a positive. And there's two birthdays coming up that are important to you, so I don't know what that means, besides, besides your own, but, yeah. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Hi, lady with the hat, come over. Marissa, good name, what's your date of birth? That's my birthday, but different year. Woohoo! Right, what's uh, your question, sweetie? Will the Yankees win the World Series soon? Um, can you ask me something about you? Because I don't, I don't like pay attention to this, the sports and stuff like that. How long my career be in like two years? You've already made some, some changes with stuff right now, so whatever you're doing, you're laying the seed for it for later. You're very creative, and you like to help people, so anything in the service would make sense, especially working with kids, because you're a big kid. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. And anything to do with your hands and, you know, being around people. Thank you so much. Her uh, mic went down. Hi. I, I'm, I'm a psychic. How are you? <laughs> Somebody come over and ask me a question. You can all come up. <laughs> I love your hair. Oh, thank you. What's your, what's your name? Uh, Alexandra. Oh, I love that. What's your date of birth? February 17. What year? 72. And what do you want to ask me? My current status is single. Will that change anytime soon? You had two people that were important to you? Or two relationships or two significant situations? I'm not talking about long term, the two people that got to you. Yeah. Okay, you should be coming into your third. The only thing is you're also a one or a three to me, which means you'd always have choices either one or three or six. So I think you've met one person in particular that's there already. And... I kind of get them going in and out. I think they're afraid to approach you because you're very intense. It's important, but, um, and, I, and whoever it is is like a very gentle person, and then I see two other people, but I only see you liking two of them out of the three. So one is lighter, 
with like brown eyes, and then the other one has got dark hair, light eyes. Um, one might not be as tall as you would like, but he seems taller. It's, it's really significant. So these are the two people that are in my life right now? I, one is around you. The other, you're going to meet like three people, but the two other players you haven't met yet or not directly. It's, it's important. Now, are you in the limelight at all, or do you present in front of people? Sometimes. Yeah, you should do more of it, because that's where you're going to meet the other people. Yeah, because I, I, just, I just hear, like, like, you showing people stuff, and you're in front of people, almost like a show. Like oh, me. Okay. <laughs> so, one out of those three. I think so, yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean you won't go on another, you know, 30 dates with random people, but you're not like that anyway, so. Yeah. And is there a timeline? Um, a year, two? Well, it looks like within the next 9 to 18 months, you should be more settled. You know, you're a little bit a late bloomer, but it's better to be late than none at all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. What's your, what's your name, sweetie? Sharon. Hi, Sharon. What's your date of birth? Um, April the 24th, 1959. Do you write? No. You should. It's really strong. Not like this, talking into a recorder. Because um, you're very clinical. You're very, like, you're creative, but you're very structured with it. Okay, I'm sorry. I just I went off my ADD. What do you want to ask me? Um, I'm not very happy with my physical location at the moment. Can you see something in the near future? Is this the second location you've lived in in the past, or third? Actually, it's your third location in the past, like, two years. Yes. There's another move coming up. It's going to happen quick. Because you have things in twos, but you're, you still have two baselines. So like here and maybe another place, and then there's going to be two more. Um, I don't know if it's Australia. I see kangaroos. And I also get a reference to Big Ben. So it could be England or Northern Ireland. There could be another home base. So it's, it's like it's, they're trying to show me that. It's like very significant. Okay. And thank you. Thank you. Okay, and hi. hi. What's your name, sweetie? Dawn. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. What's your date of birth? 10, 1968. And what's your question? My career, am I where I'm supposed to be? You actually already know the answer to that. You're kind of like back and forth with it. I don't think it's the wrong idea. I think you have the wrong application. You know, you, you like to help people, but without being a butt wiper. So, um, so you have a caretaking base, but it doesn't mean that you have to be a nurse or a great school teacher to do that. So maybe go back to school and get a psychology degree or speech therapy or something. You need to have something that's a little higher level that gives you more flexibility because you like to jump around. And the other thing is even though you're tiny, you're very feisty. And a lot of people don't expect like, you're, like a jumping beam with, you know, uh, jalapeno peppers with it. So, and you're in your second major relationship? No relationship. You're coming into a relationship. The only thing is, is that uh, one of the, the possibly two choices, but one of the people has a child around him, but it's not a negative. So just keep that in mind. Uh, time frame on that? I need to know where, when. Uh, no, I'm really <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it, it's probably while you're pursuing a new career. Or a new dimension of it, okay. you know. But remember, whoever it is is going to go very slow, because you you know they're also intense but quiet about it. Are there there are two? Yeah, yeah. But I I only like one of them more so, the one that's a little bit more laid back. Laid back. Yeah, the other one is too aggressive. It's like he wants to eat you whole. Well, I know. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because one is like you know like how like some dogs like lick your face. Yeah. Yeah, one will be like that, too intense. I thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm a psychic. Future. You've had two people that were important to you? Or only the one? You would... I, I don't even know if the person that you had with, that was significant was really that significant to you. So I, I'm going to say, uh, so you should be coming into something. The only thing, though, is, is that you have to slow down. You're also very intense. Aquarians tend to, to be Renaissance people. I'm an Aquarius. So, um, it's somebody that's in the limelight like you. So, do, yes. But it's, but it's not in a typical sense. Maybe they're the more business of it. So it's important. And um, you've got to keep pursuing your own ambitions and your own goals. 
because, you know, if you're in the spotlight and that person's, you know, at a desk all day necessarily, they may not be able to deal with that because they're insecure. So don't worry about it. Yeah, keep doing it. And yeah, thank you. Hi. Sir, you have a question? Okay. I have a, a room for one more question. What's your name, sweetie? April. April, what's your date of birth? August 12, 1993. And what's your question? I'm just wondering if I'm pursuing the right career path in college right now. Is it one thing or three? It's two. You're going to add a third component to it? Well, yes. Um, well, I see you juggling three balls, no pun intended, but um, yeah, I get you juggling and you want to help people, but I also get the reference to legal, like I get the medical serpent and I get legal too and I'm not sure why. So I don't know if maybe you need to look at it more clinically, but I think you're on the right, the right path. You know, I just think you need to add the third thing. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone. And my name is Francine Tesler, and enjoy the music, and I'll be appearing again the backstage at 410 if anyone wants to come over, and my business cards are on the table. Thank you.